Okay guys, today we're going to be checking out this old mobility scooter. The seat's off of it because that post is on my barbecue. Um, the problem is, if I turn the switch on, the gauge is reading. See that? But when I hit the I hear a little click and that's it. Um, headlights on, but it's not very bright. I do know one of the batteries in it is bad. Let's go ahead and pull this up. But I can't remember which one. So, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I don't know what that was from. Uh, I got a couple batteries. I think might work on this thing. And, um, but we're going to see. We're going to see if we can get them to work. This is 24 volt system, each one of them is 12 volts. Those are very expensive batteries. I got a couple out of an old scooter. Actually, I got four. I had two scooters and I saved the batteries. The batteries were good. Um, there was two in each one, two 12 volts in each one, but they're small. So I'm going to unhook these and I'm going to put them batteries in there. And we're going to see if that's going to fix our problem. I can't remember which one of them is bad, but one of them keeps going dead. So, all right, guys, let's get to this. Okay, let's just check these, make sure they're up to par. And I'm looking at 25.3. These are hooked up in series. I gotta hook them up parallel. So what that means is a little tiny drill bit. What that means is 12 and 12 is 24. So what I gotta do is I gotta hook the red to red and black to black. So I gotta hook the positive, positive, negative, negative. That'll put them parallel. That'll still give me my 12 volts, but it'll be a strong 12 volt, and I gotta do it with each one of them. And then uh, when I hook it up to here, see each one of these are 12 volts. So you got 12 and 12 is 24. So this is 12, 12, 12, and 12. So I don't wanna hook them up in series. All right, so let me get some cutters and um, we'll get these wired up. I'm gonna try to figure out a way I can wire these in I really don't want to cut these original ends off here in case I do happen to find a set of these batteries. But let's go ahead and get these unhooked. And, um, and I checked the other ones too. They're about 25.2. These were 25.3. So they're fully charged and they're ready to go. This has got an integrated charging system in it. So when I plug it in it still should charge the 12 volts on each one that I need okay so I'm gonna check these batteries just in case uh, this one's 13.3 I know you guys can't see that anyway it's 13.3 ish this one is 11.1 .1. that one's low so that must be the bad one let's go ahead unhook these because this is never going to be like road around through walmart for a couple hours or anything it's just going from point a to point b with my grill you know so And they're old batteries. Her mom was like, well, why don't you just put new batteries in it? 
I'm not I'm not paying almost two hundred dollars for batteries. I could buy another one of these in this condition in working order for around 300 350 bucks you know so these things aren't once they're used they're used that's it so hopefully these batteries will be strong enough to run this like I said it's never going to go very far maybe take it around back or something might take it to a car show but it's not going to be driven around it's just going to sit there you know Probably should have just hooked one of them up over here, but oh well. All right, so that's the good one. I'll put this nut washer on top of the good one. Um, yeah, these are going to set in here. They won't set that way, so I'll have to set them like this. So I want to keep these, these plugs are handy for different things, so I want to keep these plugs. I want to cut it off back here. Same way with these, these are handy. Cut that off. And cut that off. Okay, so I'm gonna wire these two together and those two together and that'll give me my parallel uh, 12 volts. Um, like that so I should put them like that because I don't I don't want to put strain on these so what I'm probably going to do is solder these I don't know, boy, I'd really like to keep these ends on here, but um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to. Let's go ahead and take these ends off. I'll save them. I always put them back on, but. And then. I really don't want to solder these, but there's no other way around it. So let me get my soldering stuff. We'll solder all this stuff together. I'll speed you up through that because it's boring. I'll put some uh, some of my uh, shrink wrap on it. All 
I should just hook these up first and see if they're going to work right. That's what I'm going to do. Let me prep that other battery. And we'll just hook them up real quick and make sure this is going to do what we need it to do. It should. But let's check for, you know, just, just in case. Okay, guys. I just got these wired up. Let's see. I'll flip it on. There it goes. Alright, now... This thing does have another issue. This box right here, right there with the yellow sticker on it. That's some kind of control box or something. It's going bad. And I'm not gonna replace it because that reason right there. That's the board that's inside there. Uh, 24 volt 55 amp motor controller 189 bucks yeah it ain't getting one of those so we'll run it as long as we can and then uh, I'll do something different <laughs> but uh yeah Alright, well, I'm going to get my shrink wrap, and I'm going to solder these on, and these wires together, and um, but let's unplug them first. We'll solder these on, or together, I should say, and then... Um, We'll put this strap around here the best we can. Uh, and we'll try it out and see what happens. <laughs> connection yep all right now strap over here as you can see soldering wasn't going that great so
I said, the heck with that. Let me clean this stuff off here. Let's take it for a little cruise. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so we stuck at it, we persevered. I know it wasn't that long for you guys, but for me it's been several hours because I had to take that controller off. Do a little soldering. Looks like it's gotten moisture in there at one time. And uh which I'm sure condensation and everything. So yeah i'm gonna put it back away well i'm gonna put it on the charger first let's do that let's put it on the charger and make sure that the lights come on okay so i've got it plugged in there let's plug this in right there and over here we should see a little green light down there or red what are we looking at oh i see green light okay cool if it's red there it is I think if it's red it's charging and green means full charge which we check those batteries and they are full charge so there we go I don't know how long that controller is going to last so I don't know we'll just have to see I'm gonna put the grill back on it and this thing lives up there <laughs> believe it or not but it does and yeah that's pretty cool so let me see something yeah, see how much brighter the light is now? So, I uh, had the battery charger right here because I had, I tried to put this on the, this battery on the charger. It won't do anything. It won't spark or nothing. Even if you cross them, negative, positive, positive, negative, it does nothing. Even though it's reading 11.1 volts or something, it's not doing anything. So, that one there, uh, I checked it again. It's reading a little over 12. So that's almost full charge battery. That's a good battery there um, This needs a battery, but unfortunately that one won't fit in here. I don't think No But it takes one of these little tiny things. They're like 20 bucks. No big deal. All right I'm feeling a couple raindrops guys. So I got to get my mess cleaned up here picked up and put away and so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Golf round. Wasn't really how-to, but it was what I was doing. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care. Have a great weekend, everyone.